Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us in this video. So today, something new just arrived in X-Lights for the first time in almost, in almost three years. Stay tuned, we'll talk about it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Clyde here from Pixel Pro Displays. There is a brand new effect in X-Lights over here to my right, and this is the sketch effect. Now, uh, a huge shout out to Kevin Mojek and also to Scott Hansen for coming up with the uh, initial idea of a draw function in X-Lights. Um, Kevin was talking uh, to me in Messenger one night, and he said, uh, what would you like added to X-Lights? I said, boy, wouldn't it be great if we could have a new effect? And his, uh, his response to me was, what effect would it be? And I, th I said, uh, some sort of effect where you can draw. Well, what would draw do? And I said, well, think et Etch-A-Sketch. And so if you know what an Etch-A-Sketch is, uh, maybe I'll throw a picture up here and, uh, and show you. Uh, Etch-A-Sketch was a, a red... Uh, two-dimensional piece of paper that had little white knobs that you could draw out a picture uh, and if you drew out the picture you used XY coordinates one one drawing and you, you used to be able to shake it and erase it and then you could draw like a, some sort of something with the Etch-A-Sketch if you were really good at it now I wasn't very good at it. I wasn't creative when I was a kid but I thought man it would be really nice to be able to do some interesting and intricate things with uh, with an effect in X lights where it could draw something. And so what we'll do today is we'll talk about what sketch is and I'll try to demonstrate some of it for you. You can see the demo here, but I'm gonna, uh, it's, it's not a simple effect. It's not uh, your basic everyday effect, which is like bars or single strand or shockwave or uh, pinwheel. Um, all of those effects, when you place them down, they do something. The sketch function in X Lights does something completely different. It does what you want it to do, and therefore you have to program it to do what you want it to do. Now, there's no limit to what it can do because it's all up here. So, if you're a creator and you enjoy drawing or uh, trying to animate things in X Lights, this is your manual control to be able to do things in X Lights manually as opposed to relying on an effect to create that look for you. When we go through the sketch effect, Try not to get, um, get, I mean, it's it's wonderful for drawing, and that's what the idea was, but it's also wonderful for layering. And I'll try to get into a little bit, bit of it and do this little intro video, and we'll, we'll kind of do some more videos as we go. Well, let's go ahead and get started playing with the sketch effect. We have pretty much everything on the screen here we can use to play with the sketch effect just to kind of get started. When you come up here to the sketch effect, this is it right here. Click and drag it down. Um, this is the default setting for the sketch. The first thing that you're going to see is a link to two different videos. Now, when you click on these two, see these two, uh, see two demo videos. The first one is going to be on a demo of the sketch of, uh, effect and, and then a demo, a second demo on tracing. Uh, uh, over top of an image so that's what that, that's what sketch can do and that's what it's there for it's so we can draw and we can create both of these videos are uh, talk about the specifics of the effect so the first thing that we'll talk about is we'll we'll show uh, some of the settings just on the effect and I'm, I'm going to also point out this helpful piece of advice here this is called the effects assistant uh, this is the icon to turn it off and turn it on uh, this is where I place it in my X Lights layout whenever I want to show uh, the uh, effects assist. Uh, what what the effects assist does is it allows per. It's only used in three effects, uh, and I guess I'll show that really quick. You can have the morph effect. You put the morph effect down, and you have these different points that you can grab hold of and move around. And this is the morph effect. You also have the picture effect where you can uh, draw, physically draw. You can create a new image. If you have to, you have to make the image uh, screen much bigger to see all the options. You can uh, load an image in here. Um, it, uh, uh, it does something with the sizing of images and pictures and stuff, but you can use the picture effect to help you scale or, or whatever scale to fit. There you go, there's your little image. But the third effect that's going to take advantage of this is the, um, 
is the sketch effect. And whenever you click on it, you can click on this screen as well. Now, I've, I've made a quick preview or perspective where I call it laptop. Whenever I'm working on one screen, then, then it, it just shows up right over here so I can quickly get to it. Um, but that's the basics of the effects assist window, uh, making it visible. Now, you may have to come up here, view and windows and dock all to, in order to see it. If you have multiple screens, like I have multiple screens, you may have to click the dock all button, or you may have to click this again and click the dock all button because then, then it might be off the screen. So first, we'll talk about the, just the settings on the effects. So uh, as we can see, we have two uh, lines that are going across this effect. Um, you have a, uh, a green tree. So the first line, there's, it looks like there's two, co uh, two colors used in the effect. And there's a green line and a yellow line. So the, the first line is the first color is the first line and the second color is the second line. Now, I haven't played with this enough to, to figure out how many colors and lines you can go up to. I assume that you can use all eight squares and you can just set the color using the color dropper to whatever you'd like it to be. Maybe you want that white or maybe you want the tree to be pink. You can grab the pink color and drop it in there. That's the color dropper. Next uh, is th the next thing that we notice just on the default settings of draw uh, are the draw percentage. Uh, if we lessen this, this s uh, speeds up the time it takes to draw the effect, and it also lengthens the sustainment. If we want to take longer to draw out the effect, we we take it further away, a higher number. So it's a nice slow draw to uh, to the effect. And now. About 40 looks about right. So, uh, and and then you can uh, you can you can make this longer if you wanted to draw out longer and take time. This is seven seconds, but some some effects are only like three seconds or four seconds long. So next you have the thickness. So if we're in a P10 panel, this is a uh, four by six, four wide by six tall P10 panel. If we take this and we copy this effect to uh, the garage matrix, for example, here, um, you can see that you don't have as many pixels to play with so this thickness may not be very helpful and there you can see there you can see where you know you kind of run out of pixels because the the less dense matrices uh, aren't don't have the definition but it still allows you to use the effect for doing things so keep in mind that if you're doing something on a p10 panel uh, yes it's nice to have that thickness but if you're doing something on a much smaller scale or a smaller panel you want to um, you want to uh, use a thinner pen, pencil thickness size, I guess. Uh, and then finally, we have, let's go to the motion. Uh, and we click the checkbox, obviously. There's no motion. We have it set to zero. So if we move it to, to 1 or 39, let's say, it's going to trace the path and follow it in a circle uh, or follow it in, in that manner that around the tree there. So if we want it to just be on and stay on, we turn off the motion, and there is no follow-up. So there's no follow-up in the path. But if we want to follow the path, then this creates an animation. Once the, the drawing is physically drawn out, then as soon as it's done, it will continue. And you can set how much of that you want to draw at a time. So now you can create some different things um, with motion that are following a path uh, that that travel in different directions and you could layer some of those effects on top of each other um, an example of this would be what if we copy what if we uh, what if we went to roto zoom here and uh, this is the layer setting box the buffer buffer tab the roto zoom tab uh, what if we do a rotation here okay nothing nothing fancy there but if we do just a rotation and we make this nice and short and you can't tell that it's a tree, you just have some zigzag lines. And what if we copy the effect and we paste the effect and now we go back to the buffer tab and we transform it and put another one on it and then we paste it again and we put a, another rotation on it of some sort and then we do it again and we have rotate 180 degrees. So now you have a really interesting pattern that is being drawn out and it's very simple. I mean, we're just using the basic, uh, the basic effect in X lights, and we're using that motion. Uh, now, if we turn this off, what, look what happens is now we get this tree that's being created in multi dimensions. So if we, oh wait, we've got to bulk edit that. So let's see if we can bulk edit. Right click, uncheck. There we go. So now we'll have a bunch of trees going in circles. 
that's an interesting thing there. You know, you could you could make some sort of effect out of that as well. Why don't we try uh, doing some things with the sketch effect that are basic so that you see some of the functionality. So we'll go ahead and grab the um, we'll grab the sketch effect. Uh, this is the standard sketch effect. We'll go with red and white. And what we'll do is we'll open up the effects assist now. And we'll look in this window here and see kind of how it works with the draw section. And what we see here is we have an image and we have down below, we have two paths. We have path number one and path number two. And we have some, uh, some descriptions on how to activate uh, or use or create um, some uh, some 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 of the lines and dots and points and such so with that what we'll do is if you click on one this shows you the first path now you can come in here and you can change the path and when you do change the path it fixes it automatically it it, it makes changes instantly uh, another thing is is that you can uh, scroll up and down here but you can scroll in this is just like your layout tab where you can grab and move and and such uh, you can go back in here you can scroll out using your scroll wheel on your mouse you can push on your scroll wheel click button and and once you're zoomed in you can grab it and move it up and down and you can get a little bit more fine detail to some of these different points that you might be working with and such so there's there's that functionality as well as far as the draw goes and you can also delete uh, or get rid of this and do your own sketch so all you have to do to do that is uh, hit the clear button now notice there are two paths in this right there's the the path here where you have the uh, tree and then you have the star at the top or that circle so that means we can use two lines in the effect at the same time not at the same time but we'll draw a, uh, one after another uh, so what we'll do is we'll clear this out let's do something that is a little bit more um, uh, uh, simple basic we'll just grab a circle this is nothing fancy it's a circle okay and in order to start we'll click the start button now there's a couple things that you're gonna learn when you start playing with sketch because I had to learn them uh, first whenever you click start you can start clicking at any point now if you just click and you put some points down notice that there's no adjustments in between here and and so just so you see this uh, let's go ahead and scroll up here and we'll go here, bam. Now, I'm, I don't really need to get too technical with this, but you can go in, you can draw your circle like this. And now, if, if, if you're done, you want to close it off, hit the close icon, and you've just created the path, right? So if we click on it, now you can see that this, well, this is a hexagon. So we just created an eight-sided drawing of a figure. Um, and how is this useful? Well, let's go back to that motion thing. And what if we did this? And what if we copy and pasted that? So um, you have, let's say you have four of them here. Paste. Let's say you have this at uh, transformation. Uh, again, the 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 most the most interesting thing about um, the most interesting thing about um, X lights is the ability to have the layer settings where you can change things instantly. I now can you do this with other effects? Possibly you could possibly do this with tendril, but it would be a mess because tendril isn't a perfect draw function. So now we've created literally an outline of like a hexagon, and I used a circle image to do that. What if we uh, grabbed a different value curve, popped it on there, and what if we bulk edited that for all of them to be the same? And that's a little more spastic. Let's go with one. So there we go. Bulk edit and bam, there you go. So there's something that you could never do in X lights before. How does that translate when we go to this basics uh, matrix panel? So let's uh, uh, insert a couple layers below. Insert multiple layers. We'll have four in. What if we copy and paste this in here? So there we go. This is the this is the basic effect on. Um, the panel if we open up the house preview and you can see them on both of them those are the differences now probably on the higher density matrix let's say we want to bulk edit this and make this a little bit thicker and now it becomes something that's a little bit more visual on uh, on on your screen but again it's all about it, it truly is all about what 
the effects are able to, uh, like what the sketch effect can draw. So we used a basic circle. What if we, what if we go back and we put the basic sketch effect down with the circle? Now, what if, what if we were to clear this? Let's give this a different color, uh, something that's a little more noticeable. Let's go green. Um, what if we were to um, delete this path? Uh, let me go put that circle back in there. And uh, when we go back in here, and what we'll do is we'll start setting some points down. Now, see how it says use the uh, shift key here? Uh, this toggles between segment types. Uh, one will be a line, one will be a one point curve. So we did a, we did a, a line before, but now I'm going to hit the shift key. Now watch the color of these dot, dotted lines here. We hit it one time and it's red. So what that signifies is a one point curve. And so now if I now if I don't touch the shift key, it's going to stay red and it's going to give me one point curves. So now, and if you make a mistake, don't worry, you can always go back and edit it after you close it. And now we'll, once we've connected it, now we got a circle, let's go ahead and close it. That ends it. And now we can come in and we can just start cleaning up these points to make this circle much more refined, right? So we can come in here and we can have a little bit of fun just pulling these points. And uh, I think I think this here is, uh, whoop, I think it just moved the whole thing. It did. So if you grab a hold of the line instead of the point, it will move the whole drawing. So there we go. My my skills at drawing are something to be, you know, kind of, oops, see I grabbed the line instead of the point. So we can go back in, oop, put it back where it was and just get that point in there, right? So that is what that circle might look like. Now we, we have, uh, again, we've, done a couple different things before. Uh, we have that motion. What if we were drawing it out? We want to see it draw out and and it sustains. So that's pretty cool. We can have that motion. We can have a long motion or we can have little itty bitty bits of motion. And um, so again, we can copy and paste this and we have the uh, transformation of rotate 90 degrees rotate another 90 degrees and we can rotate 180 degrees so there you go you've got this circle now if you want to keep this circle going you don't end it you just keep going with it right so we can come down here and uh, we can paste it three times we can put the off effect and play it continuously so it's back to back you see this circle going and uh, is that interesting? Sure, it could. It could. It could go to the beat of the music. It could. It could really uh, fit with some certain things that you're doing in your sequencing. Uh, there's a lot of things that we can do in multiple layers. Okay, let's go ahead and show the rest of the the other uh, functionality of the uh, icons there, or the, not the icons, but um, drawing in the circle and adding the different type of path. So um, we'll go ahead and we'll start a new one here. Now, remember when we put? Uh, I'll put my first point up here. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and we will hit the shift key and you see how it changes color. So this gives us one curve that we can play with. But if we hit it again, it gives us a blue line and it gives us two curves that we can create. See the two buttons there? So then I'll come down here and I'm not changing it, uh, just leaving it blue. And we'll do that there and we'll close it. And so what this does is this allows us to pull two lines and you can get a much more uh, complex curve out of the thing. So see how that's formulating that part of the circle and you're able to um, you're able to get in there and get much more of a idea of what you want it to look like. Now this is a circle. This isn't a compound line that you're doing but you certainly could do something like this. Let's let's leave this as it is, right? And we'll come down here and we'll start another one because we can have two lines going one after another. So if we click start here and we go the opposite way around. Now, if, again, the black is a straight line. The red is a single point line and the blue is a three point line. 
then what what you'll do from here is you go back to the black. Um, w we can we can do basically uh, single points on here. Let's try doing single points, and we'll go ahead and close this out. So we're going we went this way in one, and we're going the opposite in the in the other. So again, we're just having fun. We're we're taking points uh, on a line that you never I I don't know that you ever would have done it this way before, right? So, um, I mean, that's kind of like a spirograph. You could create your own spirograph images and such. So there's there's two of them. And what if we uh, put those down and we pasted that and we just rotated it uh, in the buffer, rotate 100 and, or uh, rotate 180 degrees. So it's something different. We never tried to mess around with stuff like this in X Lights before. So I think this is going to be a lot of fun to create something new that people haven't seen before. Well, guys, that's it from us here at Pixel Pro Displays. A huge thank you to Kevin for all of the hard work uh, that he's done in putting into the effect, the sketch effect, brand new, the first effect in well over, well, close to three years. Uh, uh, in X Lights since 2019, the shader effect was the last thing that was added and. Um, the shader has been incredible. This is just as incredible, if not just slightly more, because, man, you can create on your own terms. You don't need to know how to code things. You, you, you know. And I have a feeling that watching this effect that we're going to grow with the effect and everybody's going to become a little better with things and really learn how to take full advantage of the functionality that's built into it. So, guys, that's it for me here at Pixel Pro Displays. If you like the video, hit the like button if you haven't done yet. So hit the red subscribe button, also the bell for notifications. And we also have an awesome community, which you should totally join, called the Pixel Pro University Facebook group. If you haven't joined, the link is in the video description. And finally, if you love what we do here at PPD, by all means consider uh, supporting us by joining the PPD Sequence Club where you get one awesome sequence each and every month whenever you join. That's the way that you can support us and the content we produce here to help you guys out. And if you have any comments, by all means, put them in the video description. When you do, number one, it kind of lifts up the video volume. People will see these videos more. We've got a ton of content. We've got 200 plus videos. Uh, on our YouTube channel and there's a ton of brand new content that has been created over the past two or three years that is very relevant in today's interesting and fun RGB hobby. So guys, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Thanks.